when you change something i want to let me recall the about page what we are the params okay so i want to do that little thing with here for now we will add this dot router equals to router So we are storing the router object in our dashboard view model so you can access it inside the prototype functions here. And what we want, we want this line of code. And as soon as we change the value, we will use the router using the this. And we want to go to the about and giving the ID and okay let's put value here okay 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 and then here we will console log it just a silly example to see all of that working and i want portugal and params object may only contains color values what i what i did wrongly oh is an array so sorry we <laughs> we don't want the array but we want the first position of it and if you want you can destructure it like so and you press that and you are being redirected to there with the id as a string zero if you want Spain, it will give the ID 2 and the United Kingdom with ID 1. It's very, very, very easy. Then you can also make some animations and stuff. It's a more advanced way of doing that. But for now, we can press something. You can also press a button and put that logic there. Of course, for instance, inside the customers, when you create and if you created the customer successfully, you can redirect to another page and using this router.go method and put the path that is the module or the page we want to, go to navigate to. And that's the way you do it. Right now, we are going to change the way we are loading inside the dashboard HTML, we are going to change the way we are loading this chart. We are going to separate some, some modules here and let me inside the view, select the views and create a new folder that will be called like charts, for example. And inside it will be a pi.html. And let me copy all of that code and put that here. Okay, so we have the pi HTML. And now let's create the view models and then we will create the chart as well. And let me duplicate the dashboard and just change it to pi. And here select and press ctrl f2 and change it to pi view model let me see yeah everything is not changed we don't want these ones you don't want let's refactor that we need to talk about it later as well here we can remove that Okay, and now inside the dashboard, we are going to load the data using the OJ module component as we are loading here inside the index.html with this. So custom, not customers, but dashboard, the role is not main, we can delete that, we don't want any class, we just need the configuration and we want our module config let's call it pie chart 
module config and let's define it here on init variables and it will be equals to something and we need to load the so OJ module Okay, so we need to have this module helmet hotels and not in this position but here so you can and use that module helmet. Now let me remove this one. We are not using it anymore. And here our go oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? oh here we need to declare it. We will use the create config method and inside of it we will give it an object object will have the name property there is the path to our new uh, module we want to load in our case it will be short and pi so it will be short 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 slash and it will be called pi and we can also give it some parameters that will be an object okay for now it will be empty but it it will be there so you can give it to the pi html and inside the pi gs inside these params we will receive that let me just remove the router we will not use that here at least for now okay now we need to change our code a little bit so we are still seeing the pie chart but now it's completely separated module it's not a part of our dashboard but we are loading these Py HTML. If you go to dashboard, you just load the AOJ module, and when you click, nothing is happening because inside the Py PyGS file, we can see here I uh, don't have that subscribe anymore. What you can do, we can send params to our new module, the Py module, and abstract some of these functionalities. For example, you can, for instance, give it the, let's call it, let, let's put the same name here. So we can give the user pi selection value and give it the observable in our dashboard. So in our dashboard, we have the observable array and we are also subscribing it. Okay, and now here we receive the params let me save that and we will see that we are getting the user pi selection value. Of course, we can have some object destruction here, not with params, but with user pi value that is equals to params. So we are extracting this property or we can put that. Let's send it here. Params, get the observables and here you have that and you can simply put that the current pi module user pi selection value is the one we receive from the parameters okay and also you can give it the data to load inside so let's also send here the the observable function the observable itself not we are not executing that if you put a parenthesis there we are just sending the value but we want to send all the function so it can apply the changes between the modules and we can also load that here and use it here what we will do so every time you need to use users country data it is linked to the dashboard users country data and if you remember we are populating that here 
So for that particular instance of the pi module, we are setting the selection and the data. And as we have this subscribe method, every time this selection is changed, we are treating this function inside the subscribe method. And note that this change on the user pi selection value, it will be performed inside the module itself and not inside the dashboard. It is inside the pi GS module instance. And let me see the code and it is saying params is not fine, of course, because I need to add it there so I can load it. I'm passing that and I'm receiving that. And of course, we are getting the data again. So using this logic, we are getting the data. Of course, we are again overriding it. So we don't need that code anymore. We can delete that. And let's see if it is still working and users pi data provider is not defined. And now we need to change something here. There is, I just need to remove this part. So we are defining the data provider for our pi data provider and it is using this value. Now it should work. Okay. And if you press that, it will trigger the function from the dashboard and we'll navigate to the about page. Okay, so this is how you can have a module and load it inside another module and also send it some functions. Of course, now we can remove this from here and we can remove the pie chart color as well. And also we can remove this rate at the provider definition because we are not using that anymore and we can remove what more and this comment of course and now we can remove the rate at the provider import here as well as this j number converter number and let's see it is still loading the data and redirecting to the about page. And of course, as you can see, we inside the dashboard are only defining, and let me put the semicolon there. We are only defining the module parameters and the, the path to it and getting the data to change the module. And everything, all of the other things will be set inside the PyGS module. We can define all the custom properties we want, such as the position for the pie chart, the colors, the, the font size, everything will be there. And when loading it, we will only change the data. And of course, if we subscribe something to execute when the, the selection of a given pie chart is changed. So when uh, a selection changes, if we subscribe that observable that we are sending, it will also execute that. So this is how you can send some data for a custom module.